Hey everyone, I know that today uh, Reliance just announced that they're going to do a rights issue for a, a whole bunch of money, right? They're going to do a, almost 50,000 plus crores of a rights issue. Uh, and this is a huge announcement in a market right now that is uh, still gripped by the fears of the coronavirus because a rights issue is basically where a, a company decides that they're going to issue extra shares to their uh, subscribers or their shareholders who have the right to buy extra these extra shares okay for example we we all know what ipos are and ipos are open to anyone in 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 the general public right anyone within the general public can apply for an ipo for the shares of a company but the right issue is kind of different uh, a right issue is similar but slightly different where only the shareholders people who already own shares in that company by a certain date can apply for the new rights issued shares of the company, all right? And so it's slightly different. Not everybody can apply for a rights issue, only the shareholders can. And so here's the thing. Uh, we know that Reliance has so far declared, uh, declared that they will, they're going to issue a rights issue at a discount of 14%, or about 210 rupees uh, of a discount to the current market price, which was about 1466 today at most. Uh, which means that the, the, the discounted price would come to somewhere around 1256 or 57. All right, now that's 1256, let's say 1256 compared to 1466 as of today. Uh, and so the record date is something that they will be announcing. Uh, but at, basically, what happens is from now on, anyone who has uh, a share or, 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 or a stake in Reliance, say you have 100 shares. You are eligible to get apply for one share for every 15 share that you already own right now is this a good thing or a bad thing for investors it is a really good thing for investors if you already own a, a, a bunch of shares in reliance what you're going to do is you're going to get an extra share for every 15 shares that you own at a discount of 14 percent the current existing market price assume that i have uh, shares in a company called sergeant uh, just another company you know nothing to do with me uh, and in this company the share is uh, currently priced at 100 rupees and assume i have 100 shares so i have a total cost of 10000 rupees worth of shares in that company and they suddenly declare that they're going to do a rights issue of uh, one share for every existing share okay at a at a 20 percent discount so at 80 rupees okay so what happens now suddenly i have 100 shares at 100 rupees I get the right to buy another 100 shares because I already own shares in the company. I get the right to buy another 100 shares at 80 rupees. So when I buy these, I will get 200 shares at a total cost of 18,000 18, rupees, which is roughly 90 rupees per share. So my cost per share is 90 rupees. Now, what happens when uh, a rights issue happens? Normally, uh, depending on the market conditions, the chances are that the share price will go down to match the diluted price of the share which in this case would be, in this example of Sarjan, would be 90 rupees per share. But that need not happen sometimes if the sentiment is good, if the company is doing really well, sometimes the share price would remain at 100. So what happens? You get, suddenly your share costs 90 rupees and the share price is 100. If I were to sell off my extra 100 shares of 90 rupees right now, uh, I would make a profit, right? And so that is why rights issues are for the investor. What's the plus point for Reliance? Well, you know that Reliance has a lot of debt and that is one of the reasons why they have sold 10% in Geo to Facebook for a huge sum of money. Very good job, very good job, Reliance. Uh, they're also trying to sell off some of their shareholders, about 20% uh, of uh, their, their oil refinery, refining business to Aramco, Saudi Arabia. Uh, and that is still in the process. They're still working on that. Uh, so all of this is basically a move by reliance to get free of debt and right now a company especially during this crisis a company that is debt free is like okay, a good performing strong company with no debt zero debt is really good and so that is an attractive bonus for reliance to get debt free uh, because during this sort of a uh, climate where you know you don't necessarily have to spend more capital to invest in new things Reducing your debt is a very key thing, and I think Reliance is making a great move with this thing. If you own shares in Reliance, uh, we don't know what the record date is. If the record date is some day past uh, that they're going to announce, it is maybe in the next month or so. 
uh, and if you purchase shares in Reliance before that, well and good, then you will be able to participate in this right issue. And the way to do the right issue participation is, the, is through a, a mechanism called ABSTA, where you are uh, through either through your bank or through sometimes your brokerage, where you can, uh, they will check how many shares of Reliance you have in your DMAT account on that record date. And after that, they will send you uh, eligibility. They will send you by email or by uh, mail. They will notify you that you have the right to purchase, you know, one share of Reliance at this discounted price for every 15 shares of Reliance that you own. Uh, now, what can you do with this? One, which is the most apt thing to do, possibly, especially in this situation, is to subscribe to that rights issue. Okay, if you already own the shares and you want to subscribe, and you get the offer, you should subscribe. There's another thing, you can probably sell off the rights to purchase those uh, shares to someone else that you know. You, you know their DMAT account number, you can sell them the right to purchase those extra shares. Uh, or the third thing is you just don't have to do anything. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I have hundred shares of Reliance. I have thousand shares of Reliance, but I decided that I'm not going to get involved in this rights issue. It sounds fishy to me, so I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to sit still. Okay. Those are the three options that you, as an investor who have already owns share in Reliance, can decide to do. Uh, my basic thought, and this is not because I'm not connected to Reliance in any way. I'm just talking about rights issues. My basic thoughts are right issues are good for both the company as well as the investor as long as the company is on strong fundamental growth uh, grounds. And in this case, I think it's very true. Reliance is one of the premier companies in, in not just not just in India, but in the world. Uh, it is it has good it has good, uh, you know, fund, fundamental value. Its debt is high. And that is the key thing that they're trying to get rid of by reducing the debt. They're trying to leverage their company better uh, in, in, in the eyes of the investor. And I think this is a very bold move by Reliance do this in a time when the markets are in turmoil, you know, to st stand up there and say, hey, you know what? We believe in ourselves and we're going to issue more shares and we invite you to subscribe and buy into us, invest in us, and we will build a more stronger company going forward. And so uh, I will try to answer more of your questions. If you have any questions with regards to this rights issue, I know a lot of people have been asking me questions about this. Please do get back in touch. You can comment below on, on the video uh, with your questions and we will respond back to those. But I want you to know that this is something that is incredible news. I think Reliance uh, getting in connection, uh, getting uh, tying up with Facebook for the geo stake was a huge bold move uh, for the market. Uh, and this is the next big move by them. Uh, I think they're ahead of the curve in, in their thinking and their strategy of how to leverage the situation, how to get rid of their debt. And I think that's a really good move for not just for Reliance, but for the Indian market. So thank you.